Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into some of the best value in the bourbon world today. But before we do that, please do me that favor. Like, comment, and subscribe helps us out a ton, and we seriously appreciate your support. But let's get in today's video. So, I am a huge value guy when it comes to the world of bourbon. I like my bourbon to be in the value realm. I don't like overpaying. I think a lot of people feel the same exact way. So today I'm bringing you a list of 10 bourbons that have incredible value. Some of these bottles are gonna be at a lower price point. Some are gonna be at a higher price point. It really just depends on the bottle. It's nice to have a few quality products that you can always rely on. So to kick it off with number one on my list for budget bottles in the realm of value, Wild Turkey 101 Bourbon. Love the heck out of this bottle. Love the Wild Turkey flavor profile. To me, it is this like spicy cherry pie with cinnamon and like vanilla cream all over it. Love Wild Turkey 101. The best value in the world of whiskey. This is a full 750 milliliter bottle that I can get in my area for $19.99 still. This is the best bottle you can possibly get for $20. I know it's not $19.99 for everyone out there, but I would still think this would be a really, really good value at like 30 bucks because this is an incredible whiskey in and itself. And not only is this a great bottle just based on the value, it's amazing because it's super versatile being at 101 proof. It could be used as a mixer. You can drink it neat. You could do literally whatever, anything you would expect a whiskey to do. This does it at $20. And then after that one, another budget bottle, one that some reason I don't talk about it a lot, and maybe it's because I just don't love the look of the bottle, but it is an amazing killer flavor profile, and that is 1792 Small Batch. This is incredible. It is 25 bucks in my area, and this is an awesome flavor profile. It's very similar to the whole Brown Foreman banana -y flavor profile because this is from Barton, but it does have a little bit of an extra nuttiness in there. The reason I'm putting this on this list instead of any of the, you know, screw top old Foresters, even though they are some pretty solid value, I think this is a way more complex flavor profile and it's way more enjoyable of a drink overall for around the same amount of money. So honestly, I'd rather have one of those over the screw top old Foresters. And I'm an old Forster fanboy. It's just, it is what it is. I think that is a higher quality product at the same price, if not less sometimes. And after that one, one that kind of comes and goes on the channel, but is a constant amazing value nonetheless. Four Roses Single Barrel. You know, if you like rice, I think you're probably gonna like a Four Roses because they're it's the herbal side of bourbon. It's a super herbal, rye heavy side of bourbon. And I think this stuff kills it at $40. And just like I said about the Wild Turkey 101, it kind of can do everything you would want a whiskey to do because it's at that 100 proof point. I know it's not the cash strength, it is what it is, but it's at that 100 proof point where you can really turn it into cocktails and still drink it neat. And especially with that one, that makes a really, really good mixer because it's a little bit more on that like rye heavy side. So there's a lot of spice in there and spice stands up really, really well in most cocktails because you're just shoving sugar into it and other flavorings. And that usually can take a bourbon a little bit too sweet in my opinion. But talking about too sweet, the next bottle, which I hate to say it, but I do think it's a little bit too sweet from time to time, but if that's something you're into and that's the flavor profile you're looking for in that night, because trust me, there are nights I'm looking for that, this is a hitter for $45. I did not realize this was $45. I need to start drinking these more often. And that is Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. This stuff is like liquid Werther's Original Caramel Bomb all the way. This is 
the sweetest bourbon I think I own. I mean, it's a double oaked product, so you're usually gonna get a lot of those wood sugars. Like honestly, these bottles double down on the oak and wood sugars heavy, and this creates an amazing, amazing, super sweet bourbon. It is just honestly Werther's Original. You took them in a pan and you just melted those suckers down, you put them in your whiskey, and that's what you get. Really freaking good. And it is that brown foreman banana-y flavor profile as well. So it does have a little bit of like a creme brulee banana in there as well. Now we're starting to get into the $50 range, which in my opinion is where bourbon really, really starts to shine. I know these are not going to be as good of a value as say like the 1792 small batch or the wild turkey 101, but these are still really incredible value. And I think the flavor profile is still amazing and it's well worth spending that extra money to get to $50 in my opinion you know you you work on the budget you have but these ooh, well worth it and a bottle I don't really usually think high praise in but kind of deserves the high praise Knob Creek single barrels these are $49.99. I did not realize, again, just like the Woodford, when I was coming up with this list and I was going on like, what's a really good value whiskey? Like if I only had 50 bucks, what would be the best whiskey I could spend it on? And I'm hard pressed to disagree with these Knob Creek nine-year-olds. Knob Creek's not really my go-to flavor profile, but these are freaking monsters. They're nine-year-old, 120 proof. Yes, we finally just crank this SOB up to some higher proof stuff. We're getting into some higher proof and this is nine year old age stated. So it's a little bit older, gonna have a little bit of a darker flavor profile. Knob Creek at nine years old is still very, very sweet to me. Honestly, the best way I could describe it is just a really, really good, slightly nutty bourbon at 120 proof. And not to mention, they do picks of these. And the picks, you might have to spend a wee bit more money depending on where you find them. I can find them for 50 bucks in some places and 55 and then sometimes now even 60 depending on where they are. But you still might be lucky enough to find maybe an older age stated single barrel pick, maybe like a 10, 11, a 12. Usually I'm seeing nine years old, but if you have someone who's picking a really, really good single barrel, the nine year old might be a monster and well worth way above that 50, 55, maybe even $60 price point that it is at. And the nice thing is sometimes at stores, you can try those before you buy them. So just well worth it. Such great value in that. I mean, this, this video is all based on value as a whole. And if we're being completely honest, store picks have amazing value in them. So that's not really one of the specific bottles, but I'm adding it. Just general store picks, especially if you can try them, they're usually well worth the extra value. But after that one, another one at that 50, 49, 99 price range that I freaking love, Doc Swenson's Blender's Cut. This is awesome blended MGP. I don't know how not a lot of people know about this bottle or talk about this bottle. Why are people sleeping on this? People, why are people sleeping on this? I do not get it. This stuff is Awesome, it's 115 proof blended MGP. It's not the most complex MGP, but it's $49.99. In a world where people are starting to put Nulu, like five, six year old Nulu picks at like $80, $90, this is a blended product that is arguably close enough to be like on par with that. I mean, this again, not the most complex. So like, it's very hard to compare it to a pick that could be ridiculously complex, but it's $50 for really, really solid blended MGP. If you want a 115 proof MGP bottle to drink for the night, I'm hard pressed to argue that there's a better value out there than Doc Swenson's Blender's Cut. Honestly, it's just a really solid, budget blended MGP at a good price where they're not price gouging you, which is something I love because I feel like a lot of that MGP that's like over 70 bucks, they're just price gouging the heck out of you over a source bourbon that quite frankly, they probably didn't do much more than they did with that Doc Swinson's over there. 
it just is what it is. And after that, another one with killer, killer value, probably the best known for value in the world of bourbon, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. I'm not going to talk about this song because it's honestly just like the 101 I brought up earlier, but at 115 proof. So it's phenomenal. When you, If you really like that Wild Turkey 101, this is the next step up. It's still really hard to say one's better than the other when this is basically the same exact juice, same exact flavor profile, just cranked up a little bit on that one. And now, now that we're past kind of that like $50, $60 range, we're getting into the, in my opinion, what like the bougie range is. Because anything over like a hundred-ish bucks, you, there's no real inherent value in that. In my opinion, I think you, value just starts dropping off after like 80 bucks nowadays. So we're in the whole, I'll call it the monster territory. What's a monster bottle readily available that is at like that whole 60, 70, $80 range? What's a bottle? And the bottle that comes to my mind, Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proofs. I know a lot of people say these are getting harder to find. Again, I don't have a hard time finding this, but this is Jack Daniels cranked up to like 130-ish proof usually, and it slaps so hard. These are so good. This is like old number seven, but if you filled it full of steroids, kicked it in the ass and said, go make some noise, because this turns every night into a fun night. And the beautiful thing about this, 65 to 70 dollars i would pay 90 dollars for this because this is honestly old number seven but if old number seven was really freaking good and at super high proof and then the other bottle at that same kind of price point i mean a little bit higher now msrp you know what you're actually going to buy for two different things so msrp 65 bucks Retail price, usually around 80, maybe 100 nowadays if they're price gouging you a little bit, but Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. I know, we're not surprised this came up on this list. These aren't the most readily available, easy to find, just like, I hate to say it, the Jack Daniels for most people. Again, I have an easy time finding them, but most people have a hard time. These are monsters though. Elijah Craig are so good. These come out three times a year. And honestly, the batches are usually big enough where if a batch hits your area, you're going to be able to find them. And this is Heaven Hill Elijah Craig juice at 12 years old, 12 year old age stated on the side still. If they remove the 12, this might be a very different video, but at least as long as they maintain the 12, all the liquid inside is super freaking good. It's 12 year old barrel proof whiskey. Like that turns me on. But this stuff is usually around 120s to 130s, usually. I have some that are a little bit over 130s, if I remember correctly, and a few that are maybe like 118s off the top of my head, but incredible, incredible juice. And again, it's 12-year-old Bear Proof Heaven Hill. I call these like bougie Reese's peanut butter cups, and there's not a better bourbon on my shelf to kind of have a really nice Friday night pour, in my opinion, outside of that bottle. But the last one on our list, the monster to be all the monsters. The last bottle that just meets in the cusp of what I consider to be value, a bottle that I kind of hated or kind of ragged on a little bit, I guess we'll say, when I first got it because it had a lot of hype around it and I don't think it quite met the hype, but if we're being completely honest, it is some really good value and that is Calumet 15. So yeah, just like that 1792, this is Barton juice, but unlike that 1792, this has a beautiful 15 year old age statement and that age statement at 105 proof is awesome. This bottle is an amazing sipper. And just like I said with the 1792 Burton, so it's gonna have a nice cherry, a little hint of banana on this one. Banana's very subdued comparatively, a little bit of nuttiness, and a whole lot of like oak, cinnamon, cherry lozenge. It is really, really good. I'm a sucker for that like ultra aged cherry flavor, and this has that in bars. So incredible bottle 
And that is a 15 year old age statement at 105 proof for $100. I repeat, $100. You're not gonna find better value for a 15 year old age stated whiskey out there. Let me know what you thought about my best value bourbons or some of my top value bourbons. There's obviously other value bourbons out there that I didn't mention, maybe I don't own them. And you know, I, 10, 10's a huge list, so I didn't really feel like adding even more because honestly, a lot of my collection, I would consider to be value-esque type collection. So it is what it is. But do us that favor, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. Links for that are all down there below. That is a wrap for today's video. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.